Hey guys, this is Drake and Ty, and welcome back to Discussing the Universe with Drake and Ty. And Ty. Yeah, we need to work that out yeah. still. We need to work out how we say that. Yeah, we should um, probably figure probably. that out. It is episode two, so at yeah. the very least, we're still beginners. Yeah. I mean, we're very advanced beginners, but... Yeah, obviously, obviously, we're professionals. So, today's topic is a very highly requested one, and by that I mean like five people, but that's still actually a lot of people. Yeah, um, compared to every, everything else that was requested. Yeah, So uh, everything else is like maybe one or two people. So, today's topic is, the sun is lame. I know, it's a very deep topic compared to our last pathetic topic of the human condition. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, Philosophy? Nah. Get out of here. Talk about the thermonuclear ball in the sky. Yeah, of course. It's one of the, one of the interesting things about the sun is that like it's kind of weird to think. I mean, this is with a lot of things, but it's kind of weird to think that people have been like looking at this sun for like a bajillion years, and it's like that. Yep, that's the sun. We we have all been connected by the sun. If you understand what I'm saying. Well, I mean, all life does come from the sun and the, you know, explosively hot heat it throws at the at the earth because it's 113 degrees outside sometimes. Oh, so, my God. Do you do you think there's like. Do you think we're the first intelligent life ever in the universe, like the conditions just happen to be right with the specific placement of the sun in the formation of water? Yeah, actually, because. You know, there basically the first, first right? the first plants were basically very lucky chemicals that happened to just melt together yeah. and then start absorbing ultraviolet radiation, which allowed it to, to, you know, get energy. And it was like, hey, <laughs> this is pretty, <laughs> this, this is, is pretty delicious. <laughs> this is finally some good freaking food. Yeah. And yeah, and then, you know, it multiplied, which lets it do it again and again and again and again and again. And then eventually we get plankton, and then plankton, you know, evolved and all that jazz. You, you know, you've played Spore. Some, some people and... I have played Spore, yes. <laughs> yes. I have, oh. I, some people would say that that's kind of like, ah, uh, existential, ah, uh, we're alone in the universe. I think, no, that makes us even more cool and rad. Like, we, we cool just haven't... Rad. A bunch of chemicals decided, I'm going to think today, and then that's what they did. <laughs> and now we're here. I think that's great. That's, you know what's not great, true. though? The sun. The sun. The sun Because is it's not lame. Great. The sun is lame. Uh, reason number one why the sun is lame, to me, at it least. Simply, it simply isn't. What? What What are you say? What are you talking about, Ty? It's not lame. What? But the sun is not so lame. lame. I know, I, I literally just said, like, a minute ago, the sun is lame, but I have oh. decided that, it, that it's not. Oh but, so we are having a special S podcast, podcast where we argue. Debate. Debate time. Over here in the Drake Nobody. corner, I'm going to be talking about why the sun is super lame. And over there in the Thai corner, he's going to be talking going, about not that. The sun is pretty cool. Is this a special podcast episode? We don't know because we don't know, we don't know what dictates a special podcast yeah, episode. Yeah, we've had one we other episode. We were going to argue. <laughs> that okay, is true. Ty, state your point. All right. So you know how the planet, if it didn't have sunlight, would freeze over and yeah. everything would die? Yeah. Guess what prevents that? In, no, impossible. The sun. No. The no. sun prevents it from dying. No, that's not possible. What about all the other stars, though? Like, like the the, the, the other the stars. Like, why don't the, the other light. stars, the light combined from it, just heat up the equivalent the amount? What if the sun is actually really cold, and this whole time it's just been all the other stars warming up everything? Dude. And we just, we just didn't figure it out. That would be biggest 180 the universe has ever pulled on humanity <laughs> because we have this giant ball in the sky that's literally on fire and then nope it's actually kind of cold yeah uh it's the other it's the other tiny little lights in the sky you, you that just are touch actually it and your hand just starts to freeze <laughs> doc what is it not no it's cold <laughs> um so the sun the sun if it's just yeah, like you, a huge... you you throw a punch. 
this huge ball of it. It doesn't make sense, okay? This huge ball. I'm I'm not a scientist per se, but let's just say that I, I have at least twenty PhDs. All right, um, God. all of them relating to why the sun is lame. Uh, PhD number one. Okay, so you know how the sun like it warms everything up, like you just said, right? Right. But it yeah, doesn't it make is. it doesn't make any sense if the if the sun is radiating heat, then why if like why why isn't it like an aura? Why is it just like beams of 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 light coming off? Like if 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 you're standing aura. within a while oh, like a while away of like a fire and you stand like behind an object, the heat is still gonna kind of get to you. But but yeah, why but cool. why when like. When, like, the Earth is on the other, like, the sun's on the other side of the planet, the other side of the planet is just suddenly just, like, devoid of warmth. Like, because it's, it's facing only direct the... sunlight? That's, that's weak. That's weak. It's not an area of effect no. attack? Are you kidding me? That is so <laughs> lame. <laughs> because, no, the other side does get warmth because we have an ozone layer which traps, or... Yeah, so we so have you're saying the sun isn't pulling its own weight, and that we and our ozone layer have to no. work on, work no, 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 no. for the it, sun. It, okay, yes, technically we do have to work for the sun in order mm-hmm. be, because we trap heat on the mm-hmm. planet, but it still provides the heat that we trap. Some people don't okay. understand. Okay, Americans are all about freedom, right? And they don't oh, understand the monarchy oh, no. that is the sun. Oh, no. Okay. Oh god. I argue that if all if all the Americans are so insistent that they have to have their own freedoms, then we need to blow up the sun. That is the last thing standing in the way of true freedom. You're, get, you're gonna kill Ra, and that makes Ra sad. You know what? Ra, honestly, ki- kinda not the greatest ever, okay? He's literally the top dog in Egyptian if mythology. If you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! before, you'll understand that Ra isn't Yu-Gi-Oh. that good of a card, oh actually. My God. It's just in the anime, Okay. I swear I am going to kill you. With Obelisk a is clearly the dragon. better god card. I will destroy you with my Exodia. <laughs> um no. how old is okay. the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime by now? Like the four kids version. When was that? I Let me it, look that up. You mean like the first you mean like the first one, right? Like yeah. the first No, I'm not I'm talking about like GX or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. but like the original one with like Yugi and the Millennium Puzzle four, and all that, yes. right? Four kids yeah, 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 yeah. release. Who cares about the like Japanese 19... version? I've read, I've read the Yu-Gi-Oh manga, and it's really. I, you I know, like we it. had, we have Yu-Gi-Oh manga in our school's library. Like the oh really? The, okay. The original one, yeah, wow. we, yeah. I read, I read the whole thing. It was like, huh. Yes, neat. I meant that. Um, it was released in two thousand one. Next year is going to be oh the twentieth anniversary. Dang. Dude. I'm I, I'm gonna have to get Yu-Gi-Oh cards, aren't I? You don't have any. What are you? What are you pathetic? Oh, I have Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I just need more. I can oh, literally you need take... more. I have yeah, like I... entire like stacks upon yeah, stacks Yu-Gi-Oh of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. cards. Right I keep them on my desk at all times for important duels. I see. What important First duels have you card. had? Uh, you know, dealing with the fate of the universe and all uh, that. I job. see. Have you ever uh, um, dueled against the sun? I have. I, sun no, I have the game. Did you know? Oh, you, you've dueled against the sun. You know the, the solar flares, okay? The solar flares are actually yeah. just little, like, arms, okay? They're little arms that extend out of the sun. sun has the sun can arms. grow arms. Yep, and, and one time it pulled out a dual disc, and I'm like, what? What do you want? And it's like, that's it. It's time to duel. And then I fought it in a card game, and I won. All right, the first card I, I I pull is the Scrap Iron Scarecrow, my favorite card. I when hate attacking the Scrap Iron Scarecrow, monster. dude, it's so good. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate the attack. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of setting it to the graveyard. It's just you a, just, it you just, can just keep walls using it. off your opponent, so and I, I hate it so much. Okay, I love it so much. When was it? I I remember when this wasn't a a Yu Gi Oh podcast. This you know what? This is only a Yu Gi Oh podcast now. This is now a Yu Gi Oh podcast. No. Okay, all right. Um, uh, let's get back to the, let's the, get back topic, to the topic at hand. Um, yeah. Ra. Okay, so Egyptian Egyptian stuff is all is is kind of weird. Okay, so they are pretty weird. Imagine imagine if like you you die and then you suddenly like you like 
like you find yourself in the Egyptian afterlife. What's your initial reaction? Like, well, not exactly what I was expecting, but welcome. Like, imagine, imagine that, like, for most people, it's like Christianity or whatever. Now, what is it? The top one's right. Catholic, I think. I'm not sure. I, it's one of the two. Top religion. But what what I, if the actual kind of real the religion thing. was the, the the Egyptian one? Well, Does then it's name? like, is it just like no. Egyptianism? I don't know. I don't want to be racist. I, I don't want to be racist either, so we'll just call it the Egyptian religion. The Egyptian religion, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the Egyptian religion. But, uh, yeah, it's like nobody buried you with a gold coin. Lame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that, dude, I'd want to be buried with, like, every religion's, like, prerequisites to get into their heaven. Yeah. So that way I can just, like, I play both sides, so that way I always end up <laughs> yeah. on top. Um... Just worship all religions, yeah. Yeah, easy uh, mode. <laughs> easy mode. Select your difficulty. <laughs> all religions, no religion. <laughs> um. You know, in D and D, atheists get sent to the bottom pit of hell. Really? Yeah, and they get eat, and their souls get eaten by in a giant snake. In real life snake. too, am I right? But up, up, but up, yeah. Ba, ba, yep. Um. Down. So, the pyramids or whatever, um. People, people are always like, how did they get built? It must have been aliens. And I, I don't know. I, I just find that like a really stupid question. It's like, I don't know. Maybe they built it with the bajillion people they have in Egypt. Yeah, like literally all of the slaves. <laughs> maybe you know, they worked all day built, and all yeah. night. Maybe that could have been a possibility. Yeah, maybe. Just maybe. It's like in Dude, the... Imagine... No, you say anything. Okay, okay, but like, imagine being a pharaoh, right? Yeah. And and you need and you need to preserve your legacy, and you know the question comes up: How are you going to do it? I'm going to build a giant pyramid. <laughs> I'm going to like, build a giant gonna building. Not not like a statue of yourself or anything like that. No, a giant pyramid. A generic triangular prism. Give me, make me a triangular prism, please. It's like, are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm pretty sure some sort of math nerd in the comments is going to be like, actually, it, it, triangular yeah, prism is different because the bottom is like a triangle. But I don't care. I'm sorry, but I just don't. Sometimes I find I find the need to classify every individual shape kind of ridiculous. Like, at what point are you like, <laughs> we need to have the dodecahedron. If not, society will itself will collapse. We just need to classify everything. No, but okay, okay. But it's like, I think another way a math nerd might be like, actually, that's not a triangular prism at all because the pyramids have like steps that go up, yeah, which gives oh it more size. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's is, the what argument. What is the pyramid? I like ge geometrically, what is the pyramid? How many sides does it have? It has five sides. No, I mean, like, if you include all the little steps. Oh, how many sides dear God, does it have? I don't. I don't want to count that. <laughs> Someone has to count, count it. Someone has had to count it. Somebody had. There was this one video of a guy just like running up the side of a pyramid, and I'm like, that guy definitely got arrested, right? Definitely. Because <laughs> it's like you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. The sun. We were talking about the sun. That's right. All right. So. Right. I here, mentioned here's, Ron. Here's the problem. Dove here's you, another yeah. dumb thing about about the sun. Okay, it, right, it blinds it blinds my eyes. All right, you're so, already blind. Though. I maybe it was the sun's fault. Okay, maybe the sun maybe is the reason was. why I'm blind. All right, you don't you don't know that. Actually, it, it's just minor imperfections in human evolution. That's all. Can you, can you stop? Well, I know I know that like uh, ever since things evolved out of the water, our eyes just aren't as good. Like. Eyes yeah. were built for being underwater, but they've slightly evolved, so now they're not really that good. But a lot of underwater eyes are, like, really, really good. Like, no, they can I'd see say, super far away. I'd say we got we got it pretty good with our eyes up here on land. Because yeah, it's but no, like... they're not as good. They are just not as good as they were back then. Like, in the in fish, fish in the ocean. The amphibian went uh. on land. Is, mm. What was the first amphibian that went on land, and how can I kill it to stop all this? Uh, 
I'd rather you not. <laughs> but we have to stop. That's the sun. The sun is actually the solution. I realize that now, if we destroy, if we go to the past and destroy the sun, every single thing in the universe, like every single living thing in the universe, supposedly is just gonna be dead. It's that one sun. That what? one sun caused everything. All not right. Necessary. Every single, every single crime, every single sin committed in the universe was a direct result of the sun's existence. Well, I mean, why stop at just the sun? Why not just stop the creation of the universe itself? Yeah, but like... It seems a lot easier. But like, it's, it's the difference between, say, like, technically, removing one tiny thing from anything would change the outcome of things. But the sun, I feel isn't too big it's not like saying oh well the because of the big bang uh world war ii happened it's like it's it's more small scale so it's slightly more impressive if you okay. get what i'm saying like how um that one other planet if you didn't know this i think this is what happened that one other planet crashed into our planet and they kind of fused and a chunk of it got like split off and that's what the moon is now yeah I think it was more like a like a meteor or an asteroid that, hit us. Like, well, then, it, was, it was pretty big. Be, <laughs> if 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 that true, missed yeah. us, things things would change. Would would that have crashed into a different planet and done the same thing, but in a different part of? So what I'm saying, do you think that human life was inevitable? Do you think that life was just like some sort of this condition was bound to happen sometime, just based on the infinite random probability? of things i'd say i'd say yes because basically asteroids brought water which allowed life to exist mm -hmm. and over time over the entire lifespan of the sun i guess it would eventually enough asteroids would hit you know the planet that had water in them and you know that that would allow life to eventually exist and then also from life humans it, it doesn't mean like you know that one big one just crash landing with like all of us yeah, all yeah, of the water. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. you know, it can happen in small portions at, you know, small points in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. It's, it's, uh, yeah. We're yeah. getting off track here. We're talking too big scale and too smarty smart talk. We're not getting to the <laughs> real deep meaning this, of this podcast. This song is pretty big. <laughs> so... Yes, it is. It is Ty, okay? Yeah. It's like six million Earths plus or whatever. I don't know. I don't remember the scale. So it's, it's a big. Me. It's a big scale. It's, yeah. it's way bigger than I can even like comprehend. Like, dude, literally, the way. sublime just hits me so hard when I think about how big the sun is. Because <laughs> it's just like, hey, you see that? Yeah, that thing's actually like a bajillion times larger than the planet. What? Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I know it is in my brain, like, I know it's bigger, but I just never think of it as, like, that big, but it's that big, it's, like, huge, like, even, even, like, the little, what are the, the charts, like, the drawings or whatever they make for, like, like, students or whatever, like, children are, like, are, like, they're, they're big, they're big, but they're not that big, because it's too big to be put on a proper scale, really. Yeah. But there's also those um those YouTube videos where it's like you know they show like this like the like the line mm -hmm. like the line graph where like the Earth is over here and it's like this is to scale and like the yeah. Earth small and then it like jumps up it's to the, like the sun. It's the sun. Yeah, it's like up. Oh, no, oh, wow. And the sun is a medium-sized star. <laughs> it's not that big Dude, compared the, to other stars. The largest star. It's so freaking large, dude. It's so large. What like, if, why what if so inside? Big? What what if inside the sun there's just a whole nother civilization? Okay, how are we supposed to find out about it? Be they're inside that sun. How we can't use any scanners or anything because it's the freaking sun. Anything you send there would be obliterated. You mean like a species that evolved to handle the? Yes, like that's what I'm saying. The, the sun's temperatures, if maybe. A, if a species could evolve to randomly absorb, like, bits of sunlight combined with hydrogen... Uh, what, what is it freaking called? Hydrogen... Di 
I, I call hydrogen my, oxide. Dihydrogen monoxide. That's what I meant. I was trying to say monoxide. hydrogen dimoxide, and I was like, what? That's not a thing. You. <laughs> dihydrogen monoxide. It's just, it seems so arbitrary and random. So why well, can't another arbitrary and random thing happen in the sun? Because, Drake, the conditions inside of the sun are so hot and so volatile that if any molecule was in there, it would most likely the electrons would just break off. Yeah, I, I I bet that's what the that's what the plankton said when they were like, no, we can't we can't go on land. It's too bad. There's not there's plankton, not there's not enough oxygen of there. Plankton no can't food. get. No, they produce oxygen. I don't know, my I told you I'm not a scientist. I have too right, many well, PhDs. Lucky for All of them you, are I am. Wait a minute. What? Did I just uh, uh, admit You're to getting multiple off topic. crimes? Never mind. Getting off so topic. So basically. Yeah, basically, um, another plot point we have here mm -hmm. is that it melts my chocolate, and it melts my I'm pretty chocolate. sure Drake Drake wrote that, but I can oh, be God. mad at the sun for melting my it chocolate. It melts chocolate, okay? Chocolate is some is, is, is a pure form of dopamine, all right? Now, some people Literally. are like, oh, it, the cho if you, milk chocolate isn't real chocolate, dark chocolate is like the pure cocoa or whatever, if you... If you like milk chocolate better, then you just like sugar better. And I'm like, I guess I just like sugar better. What's the problem here? No, <laughs> actually, milk it... chocolate milk chocolate is chocolate because... Yes, but like it's chocolate... way more processed than like dark chocolate. Not really. Yeah. It's just cocoa butter. Yeah, that... When they, when they make chocolate... It's not like chocolate, you... though, as in the traditional sense of chocolate oh, you that mean like, like the freaking the Mayans made. Cocoa powder and all that. Yeah, okay. you, you grind it up. Okay. It's mostly just you yeah. take the cocoa bean, and then you you take it's the sugar and you go like, and then it makes um it makes milk chocolate. All right. Just, I'd say actually like you know getting the cocoa out of the cocoa bean is more difficult. Who's the first person to grind up that cocoa bean and be like, yes? He's literally someone was just yeah. like, somebody was probably like crunching on it. Because it's like, no, not even crunching. They probably just ate it without roasting it first. So it was like, yeah, no, they they probably they probably just saw mm. that bean. They were like, I wonder if this is poisonous. We shall use a human test subject, and then they fed it to them. And they're like, it's kind of bitter. It's like, eh, it's kind of yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, maybe. Not... I bet their first thought was maybe I don't know some sort of dye. So they ground it up into powder, or something maybe like that's that. That's why Minecraft. You have oh my brown gosh. cocoa. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even thinking of that. I was I was honestly not even thinking of that. Dude, no, it's just because we have, like, the Minecraft thing later. So oh, yeah, I'm we're doing like... Minecraft later today. So that'll be yeah. fun. Uh, if you're listening to this, I have Twitch now. I'm probably just going to announce this on my YouTube in general. I have Twitch yeah. now. Twitch.tv slash Daily Dose of Existence. Same spelling as this channel. I'm glad it wasn't taken. Um, the name Daily Dose of Existence has no relation to Daily Dose of Internet. I didn't even know it existed before I made my channel name, and now I'm kind of upset because that channel is like a really, really big channel. So that's pretty. Fun. Yeah, and it's also one of those like really bad clickbaity channels that are just built upon like corporate like push out ten videos a day, watch Mojo style. Let's get it. It's ten. It's ten videos every ten days. Because <laughs> it's the daily dose. Yeah, yes, but like it's No, but I understand what you're saying. We Watch we can talk what is it? About four videos? Time. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. We can, we can complain about that Corporations our Corporations ruin everything. They're just like money, 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 money. It's like money is cool and all and I'm greedy. Yes, I know I'm being kind of hypocritical with this, but at the same time, like can you not focus only on the profit and actually focus on making something quality for once? Do creators like creators that actually like create things i'm literally just like shut up and take my money yeah I'm, i wish i had the funds to like fund them more but yeah. i don't because don't have a don't have a job because we're not we're not a content farm lol we're not a content farm hey guys follow my patreon right now <laughs> buy me a kofi if please I, <laughs> if i made a patreon who would actually like legitimately probably, donate a dollar to me would, each month. I would give you a dollar. You I would would, give you maybe, a dollar. I'll, maybe I'll make a Patreon then just, 
just, just so just you can sure. give me a one buck a month. You know what the benefit <laughs> is of being on my Patreon? You get to be on my podcast. <laughs> wow, I I feel so honored. I know, it's I know. Like, it's like I'm already here, though. Yeah. Do I need to pay you for the podcast? I've, We've already. Been. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice. I'm just saying. No. Um. <sighs> so, melting chocolate. I just, I just remember this. Uh, chocolate was like the reason, like, like microwaves were invented or whatever. This one guy. I don't remember who, of course, because again, not science person. Uh, I, I've said that more here than I think I've said in my entire life before. Uh. I do like science, though. I do l- enjoy science. Wacky. It's, it's pretty wacky, fun, I funky, fresh. My teacher I wasn't a fan of, but um, whatever. Uh, I loved your chemistry teacher. She was awesome. Oh, okay. I didn't have wh- who you had. Um, one of the things. Oh, yes, microwaves. Um, so basically, this one guy was testing out, like, radio waves or whatever, like, different types of waves. And um, he had a bar of chocolate in his pocket or whatever, and he was just like, testing out the waves, and suddenly he, his, his chocolate bar started melting in his pocket while being exposed to, like, the microwaves. And he was like, oh, I can use this. And then like microwaves were made, and that's yeah. just how it that's just how it works. Yeah, but, like, wouldn't he hear his, or not hear, uh, feel his body just heating up a bit, and it's like, hmm, toasty. I mean, I don't, I think it's just because it was, like, waves in general. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it's it's slowly. If you're exposing if you you if you like if you're exposing yourself to like radioactive waves, then if you feel a bit of heat, well, your chocolate heats way faster and at much lower melting point yeah, than specific humans, heat so. is, chocolate is lower than yeah okay. So it's the, so that's like saying oh the if if you put a chocolate bar out in the sun and it it'll melts, melt. <laughs> you, you why aren't you melting right now? Don't you think that's dangerous? Yeah, but you still feel like you're heating up but just a bit, especially right now because it's 113 degrees outside. My room is relatively cool right now. It is 113 degrees yeah. outside, which is kind of crazy. It's global yeah, warming. And like next that. year it's going to be like 120 right now. We I'm could, calling we it right could now. Probably, I'm betting on it. No. Dude, uh, I was outside with a bottle of water and I drank like most of the water, right? Mm-hmm. And I saw steam coming up from the uh, water and I'm okay. like, oh, That's a God. problem. I'm like, uh-oh. Uh oh. Um, hold on. Boiling... That was cold water three minutes ago. <laughs> it's 120. Boiling. One twenty. Point of one twenty. Yeah. So it's like halfway there. Yeah. It was. It, it was. It was really awkward because I'm like, <laughs> that's gonna be me soon. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a horrible way to die is by evaporation. Yeah. We've already talked about this method of death off off podcast, though. Oh, I think we have before. Yeah, it was the dehydrator. Yeah. Dehydrator. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember what you're talking about. We, we've we've talked about this one. That sounds yeah. like a thing Doctor Doofenshmirtz would make. Bury the, the dehydrator. Before. Dehydrator. <laughs> That's fun. Dehydrator inator. That's pretty fun. Dehydrator. Yep. I can't really do a Doofenshmirtz voice. Like. Dude, ah, my bury the platypus. Board. It is I, Doctor Heinz Doofenshmirtz. I can't do it. Need to do I, Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Yours is pretty good. Take over the tri state. <laughs> <laughs> For me, that just sounded like a bunch of static. <laughs> like, you know, the the microphone like peaked or whatever. Sorry, I think I think it's just not used to me going higher than you know negative twelve. The tri state <laughs> Oh god, that is going to nah stop. Yeah. All right, back to the sun is like Ah uh, yes, okay. So the sun the sun okay, I'll I'll admit the only two points I had were that it blinds me and that it melts my chocolate. But I think those are really solid points. Like my those eyes are pretty solid. You can't you can't even look anywhere near the sun. And the sun is like the source of all life. And, like, you can't even look in its general direction without me being able to, like, squint. Also, I never thought of... My, my, my sister was talking about this, but, like, people with, um... I can't remember... Uh, lighter, people with lighter-colored eyes will be able to get, um... are more affected by sunlight. 
because with darker colored eyes people more of the light gets absorbed into the like the iris instead of going into into like the the pupil but people with lighter colored eyes they absorb more of it just directly into their eyes instead of just in the color around it and i thought that was really interesting i guess that makes sense yeah so my eyes i have hazel eyes so it's like in the middle it's in the middle so i i guess i have like moderate moderate natural sunblock i mean just for your eyeballs though so there's someone there's someone out there in the world that is like the perfect combination of every single like evolutionary trait that there's there's someone in the world that is the most resistant to sun yeah that's true there is (laughs) i wonder like how much sun you'd have to expose them to. <laughs> Had to test it. We you know, the for head, scientific, the top. It's scientific, for scientific purposes. Scientific yes. purposes. Yes. 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 Hi, Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Why are we making <laughs> this? I don't know. Let's keep going. Do we do? What do we? I saw the. I saw the new. Face and I. I didn't see it. You didn't see it. It's pretty good. I. I saw the first two seconds, and I was like, mm. What? Why? Because it just looked off, you know? It's because it, it's because they haven't animated it in years, and they have, like, different technology. But as I went through the movie, it looks it looks relatively fine. Like, my eyes got used to it. Also, why okay, did but you yeah. literally watch two seconds of it, and were like, No, I can't watch this. It's impossible. I can't. I can't. It's no, just, I, it's just okay, you know how I am when I get vibes, right? Like, I just got the wrong vibe. You, just, can you just watch the movie, please? No, but, like, you know... The plot. I've already, you know, I already know what the plot is. It she gets taken. Matter. Like, yeah, it's in the trailers. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like telling someone the plot like, synopsis of a Phineas and Ferb episode. It doesn't make it. It doesn't. It just hearing that doesn't sell you on but, the idea. You actually have to watch the show. Yeah, but like I already know what but happens. You gotta watch. Like, it doesn't I, matter. You gotta watch it. I can totally. I'll, I'll see everything coming, and I'll be like, oh, "Okay, it's there's the part." It's not about the plot. You can you can see. I saw what everything happened because it's a really obvious plot because it's made for tiny baby children. All right, it's not about okay. the tiny baby children here. It's about that. It's about the funny. It's a it's, it's a comedy, and also a throwback to a series that is beloved by many people. I don't think it's they were true. exactly it's focusing true. too heavily on the plot. Uh, are the songs good? Um, uh, a lot. I I thought a lot of the songs were good. There's a couple ones that are fine, but I liked a lot of them. The ending song's yeah. pretty good. I like I like that one a lot. Uh, yeah. There's. Uh, that means it's, like, it's funny. Y- mm. y- y- yes, it's almost like it's a funny movie. Whoa! <laughs> well, <laughs> who could have just... Who could have predicted that? I couldn't <clears> have. I was really worried going into it that I wouldn't like it. Because Phoenix and Ferb is like one of my favorite cartoons ever. Yes. And I really didn't want like the newest thing in like years to just That's be true. like maybe garbage. I'm... But I'm happy it's not. Maybe I'm, I'm just trying to preserve my vision. Yeah, maybe like... you're just trying to maybe you're just unaccepting with the fact that there's new stuff, which I don't get. It's like <laughs> It's like I can't, I can't take the fact that there's more of what I like. I, I have to have a limited amount. I can't have more. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I will give it a look. Okay. I'm just saying. Have a look. Like, a if watch. you don't enjoy it, I'll be like, okay. I guess I understand. I don't really, but that's fine. If you, if you're upset by the simple plot, then that's fine. I guess. Good. Very good. All right. All right. Well, what were you saying? I guess um, we have been talking for thirty-five minutes about. That's actually pretty good. Yes. Uh. Want to keep going or? Uh, do we have anything else? I don't really know. We've uh, t- we've talked about we fully talked about why the sun is lame and why it's not. I guess I guess I'll move on to the final surprise point for you, Ty, about why the sun is lame. Oh. Okay. The final okay. true point. Okay, Do so it. the reason why the sun is actually lame 
is that I, this whole time I've been tricking you. I've been tricking your tiny, tiny brain, all right? Brain is substantially larger than yours, but keep going. The, the sun is not lame as in, like, it's uncool. It's lame as in it can't walk. Where's your argument <laughs> now, huh? 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 The sun has arms, you doesn't have move. legs. The Can't sun walk. moves. What? Relative. What? The universe expands. What? And we circle, and we are in a galaxy. The sun is constantly moving, pulling us along with What is course. it walking? Well, I, I guess, guess it's The guy not. in a wheelchair is moving doesn't mean he's not lame. Yeah, but floating is cooler. Yes, but he's still lame. Hmm. Well, it's like you mentioned earlier. The solar flares are like little arms, right? It doesn't have legs, though. Anyways, well, he has nothing to walk on. If you're you're not walking, if you're like running he's your legs on out in space, like, walking on Whoa. sunshine. Oh, I'm walking, walking on sunshine. Might as well be walking on the sun. <laughs> that was a slightly more obscure reference for. Those of you it's out like, there, it's, it's Smash Mouth for you fools out there. That's right. They made more than just one song. I know. It's 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 surprising. Uh, All Star and Walking on the Sun songs both about stars. Ironically, um, I mean not I mean, literally. All Star but... is more like the um. It, it's like the you know popularity. Like you're a celebrity star because yeah. you're shining. Like a star. Shiny. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 I think da, 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 I think da, da, da. I think they get the point. Pretty good. They understand. We're pretty good. We're um, pretty good. I was, um, my, my final argument for yeah. you though is solar power. You know, clean cleaner power, and there's quite literally an infinite amount of it. Yeah, but the sun's well, gonna explode, I, so um, I don't think. Yeah, that, in like what five what billion are they gonna do, years. Absorb the power. What are you gonna What are you gonna do? <laughs> Set up a giant solar panel all around the sun, a Dyson sphere, and when the sun blows up, I will have it all be absorbed, <laughs> the explosion and everything, and I will turn the moon into a battery. <laughs> battery moon. Battery moon. Well, yes. In the comments, that... do you guys think the sun is lame, or if you're watching this somehow not on YouTube, I don't know where, but like. Dude, if you get someone to pirate this on some obscure website, that'd be, that means that'd be like a, a status, bro. We're, so, we're, we're, um, we're, yeah, that'd we're be good. that'd be pretty cool. Please don't pirate it though, because I mean I don't make money off of this, so but like it, yeah, I, I, like, the, the view count going up makes me happy. Please, we need the dopamine. I, I need I need the false sense of popularity. Okay. Well, this has been this has been Drake and Ty, and we're no, no. discussing the universe with Drake. Drake and, and Ty. Ty. My mouse disconnected. What the heck, bro? What the? Heck? Just go back in. Go back. Make there sure you go. like, subscribe, Lamo. Do that. Listen. Oh God, I said Next Lamo. Next time we will be discussing: Is Disney evil or morally gray? Catch you then. Bye!